pumping up high, dropping it up high. Both lines out wide and then here and inside. Yo, what's good folks? Welcome back to the channel. We have a little bit of a short video today, but spicy one. And uh, maybe I'll do a little bit more of these, but uh, you gotta let me know in the comments and you gotta give the video a like to show that you want more. So we're gonna be doing some mini POV videos as well to add on to the channel. But uh, today we're picking a track that <coughs> is uh, pretty damn janky and awkward. Um, some of the local lads have built it. And uh, yeah, I find it really testing, really challenging. If you're an enduro rider or whatever it may be, a racer, you know that some of the stuff that we come across is awkward or <laughs> to the point where it's not, it's almost unrideable in a way, but there's parts of this trail that are very, very awkward and very hard to get first time. And in all honesty, even though I feel like I can excel in that stuff, I don't think I'll be able to do this trail in a one or at the bottom and get it clean without having to stop and maybe look at it. <laughs> so yeah, I guess it's a little bit of a trail breakdown. I'm not sure what we could call it, but uh, we're gonna get stuck in, see how we get on. And uh, hopefully the struggle isn't too real on this one. Let's drop in, I hope you enjoy. Let's get after it. Alrighty, let's drop in on the first part. We go high up here into the first technical woods. So I'm going to stop here and just briefly show you something quickly. So we obviously have multiple lines here. We have off camber routes. We have a low line. That doesn't look like that's rideable, but it is. <laughs> um, multi line choice. Uh, I mean, we have a very low line, which sets you up terrible for that turn. We have a middle line, which isn't honestly any better. Then we have a high line, which is kind of really out of the way, but if you're racing, or if you're riding, or if you're on better flow or better line choice, this is a really good section to, to work on. So you come high here, you might have to get in a couple cranks to keep your speed along. You drop in and get a nice turn here, but there isn't really any point if you're up here and then dropping in between here where my hand is pointing. It's pretty irrelevant. But if you do come high here, you could drop and swoop inside. Uh, yes, the middle part of the corner is tighter, but you're chopping off a lot and uh, you're not having to come up here. So, get this section done quickly. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you uh, both lines. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the low line, show you how terrible that is, and then I'll do the line that I would personally choose in a race situation or a situation that I would just do in general anyway, what I feel comfortable doing, and you'll be able to see the difference. And uh, I think that that will just show uh, the emphasis on line choice and uh, how important it can be. Right, so we're gonna do low line, and then I'm gonna do the line that I would choose and show you the difference um, as far as awkwardness, difficulty, and uh, yeah, how much of a difference it can really make if you pay a little bit of attention and keep your eyes open. So we'll do a low line first. Drop in. Trying to hit them at the same sort of race speed that I would normally. Up high, tight. So that there, low line, just had um, just way more cornering in it. Um, wasting a lot of time, but it does look like it is the primary line that most people are doing when they ride this. But uh, we'll go and do the line that I would choose and that uh, I like doing. And let me know what you think. What line would you do? Alrighty. Let's do the line that I would prefer. So we're pumping 
up high. Dropping in. Wow. Across the roots. So I thought that worked out really, really well. Um, for me, much cleaner, uh, more of a straight line. And I was able to kind of rail that turn pretty good actually. So anyway, that's the kind of first major key section out of the way. That is a key section to me. There's multiple line choice. And I think you'd have to really check out uh, what is the most efficient and fastest line. Um, so there's a little tip. Uh, we'll head down, see if we can do the rest of the trail in a one-hour, but uh, probably not, <laughs> in all honesty, so. Uh. Hop up high. Enduro hop. <sighs> Crazy difficult part. If I can get it clean, that's all I care about. And I'm taking that 100%. That was challenging. I really feel like Although I came to a stop on that, like a stall, I got that clean as far as like, I didn't take my feet out. And I think sometimes on sections that are that tight and technical, you gotta learn to accept and take something like that when you get it clean. Cause you're not necessarily always gonna get it perfect. And uh, I think it races, we only get one shot, one practice, one race run. So, you know, you gotta really make it count, but uh, I know not everything is about speed and lines, but for me, it really kind of is. And that's why I'm bringing this sort of stuff to you all and showing you what I get up to and practicing stuff like that. I think line choice, keeping my eyes open, keeps me sharp for when I do go racing. And yeah, really trying to put an emphasis on, on, on stuff this year. And, um, yeah, enjoying it. But uh, somewhat of a trail breakdown, obviously trying to concentrate and stuff is, is, is a priority and try to talk as well as difficult, but uh, a little bit of line choice at the start. Showed you a little bit of comparison. Uh, let me know your thoughts below. Do you ride anything like this uh, at, at home or, or where you live? Sort of more tighter technical stuff, stuff that really makes you feel awkward on a bike. Um, it isn't nice it's, at first, but when you do it and you become better and you kind of be more satisfied with, oh, I'm maybe improving or whatever, it's rewarding. So all good. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like, let me know what you want to do next. If you know the area I live in, which is Innerleithen, Glen Tress, all that sort of area, let me know a trail that you want me to ride, talk about, uh, do my lines, the lines that I choose. Let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to do those in future videos. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, tuning in. Stay healthy and safe and we'll see you in the next one.